there was one girl at my church and I mean I don't, I don't know how to deal with this because, because it's a side issue and everything but she was kind of left the church and she was her parents were in the church and all this stuff the church which I don't I, you know the the you know she stopped going to the thing and I asked about her and it turns out you know she got pregnant before she got married and all this stuff and I think at least in her mind and this is kind of an issue but you know I'm not I'm not saying that you know I'm not saying that carousing is okay I'm not saying exactly that she was carousing but but she got pregnant and that's the only issue, okay? And then, and she, oh, she couldn't come to church because, you know, they wouldn't accept her. Well, that's not how the family of God works. Either the family of God, as God is our Father, they're going to love one another, no matter what their circumstances. They know, they've been there, they ought to know, which is a problem that I see with so many people on YouTube that they're condemning. That's not God's way. No, no matter. No wonder people don't want to go to church. It gives them absolute. Oh, that's another issue. It gives them absolutely nothing. I guess. Um, somebody says, "Well, okay, what keeps you alive? Well, I go to church all the time. You know, there are people involved in your life. How do you know? And I'm not talking about your, you know, your manipulative type discipling. But there's a fellowship of believers. And if you abrogate that fellowship, if you bridge that a bridge fellowship and say well all we got to do is go back and forth to this building that's not the way it was supposed to be you don't stay in line going to church you can go to church and do whatever you want to do the mafia the mafia in Italy goes to church because they think it's they're supposed to and they'll go ahead and kill somebody and they'll believe it's right The mafia in New York probably go to church. Does that mean the church is a mafia, or it's basically the same, the same, you know, morals? The Bible says we've been saved in order that we, so that we may do, so that we've been created for good works, which God intended for us before ahead of time to do. Jesus said, my food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. Um, so we're supposed to encourage one another to love and good deeds. In this we live. When you go to church, you got to, you know, kind of walk in time. People walk in, some people walk in late, some people walk in early. They walk in usually about the same time because they don't get to chit chat with everybody and talk about things that have nothing to do with God. Because, oh, it's okay, because between, between that time and up to that time, right to there, they can talk about, about whatever they want to. Then from this time to this time, they have church. It doesn't work, and it's not right. Okay? This is hard, hard to convince people of. And then from here to here, you're religious, and, here, and after that, you might have a meal or something like that where, you know, people do whatever the world does because they're not trained in righteousness. Uh, Paul says the word of God is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training, or, or the, the scriptures are, are useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Um, there's a private aspect where you study the Bible. Give attention to public reading, but you study the Bible and you learn what it means. But there's something, there's also a more social aspect, you know, whether you're a social person or not. I'm not tremendously, you know, I'm not exactly absolutely this, you know, really big social butterfly at all. You know, I'm more, I'm more quiet. But there, there's, there's so what you learn from other people, the social aspect. Where it's like uh, if you ever go to church or ever go to a rock concert or whatever, you know, it's like amazing they have the same stuff. But they'll light a candle or something like a, like somebody died or something. They'll light a candle, and then somebody will take that candle and light your candle and all that stuff. Whether it originated in Christianity or not, probably didn't originate. Probably originated in, in something that was you know 
some <clears throat> paganistic type thing. But they light the candle, light the candle, light the candle. That's how it works. Just like if you're, you know, if, if you're functioning normally, it takes two people to create a life. It's the same thing. That just like, you know, the way you talk or, or, or how you behave, you can't learn it from a book. If God's inside you, then that changes you, and that can change the world. And it, But if you've got a, I guess they call it a firebrand, if you got a firebrand, if you got, got a, 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 a firebrand or a, 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 a log on fire, in, in, in like a pyre in a fireplace or something and you pull that out it's going to start to cool off so um, unless it's really caught on fire you know but there's always the need to get back to family as far as spiritually and that's how we keep each other in line. Because we don't go together to sit down and face forward and, and everybody shut up and everybody listen to one man. The one man that we listen to is Christ. You have one teacher, or one teacher, Jesus said, and he is the Christ. So if he if Christ is in you, then he can teach you. But just like my plan over here, I got a arugula. Um, I had a, had a arugula plant, and it took a while for it to catch on. It needed to be really tender, taken care of and tended to, and it just died because it just didn't make it. it just, I was I, you know, I was very careful in watering it and all this stuff. To grow it from seed, I grew the other one from seed. They don't want to grow in the wintertime. There, is time, there are times and seasons for stuff, and it's times when things grow and times when things don't grow as well. Um... And that, that family of God must stay together to keep warm. Just like, you know, <clears throat> it was really cold outside. You want to be in your car because that warmth transfers to you. Or, you know, you huddle together or something because it's cold outside. You need that family of God. And because of the way the church is structured, because... It is one man, you know. The structure came from a bad, a wrong attitude. Somebody says, we got to have somebody, you know, we got to have some priest just like they did in the pagan temples. You know, officiating this. All the people stand by just like they did in ancient Judaism. Some, some priest up here that stands up and, and tells us what to do, you know, that we just listen to them. Um, if you're born again, then that's not how it works. Once again, this is really doesn't work um, I don't think very well I mean, it really doesn't work unless the people are born again that are involved in God's family 